What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I've got a gun strim along here, so but I found some some of the old roof tiles that have fallen down, so I thought I'll just see what's there before I strim. So, hmm. What are you up to? Um, I've had an idea. An idea? Can I have a look? Must I? <laughs> I, know what, I know what your ideas are like, they usually end up causing me pain. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, what have you done? I haven't done anything yet. I thought, um... Now you've cut this back, you could crawl in the hole and see what's in there. Well, because we've never been able to get into this bit of the building, or any of it really, because the door's stuck, now you've strimmed it, I thought maybe you could crawl in the hole and see what it's like in there. Crawl in the hole? <laughs> that oh. hole? was designed for something the size of a chicken. In fact, I think it was designed for a chicken. Well, Max, well, Max has just been in there. Well, yeah, okay, so let's get a That's only GoPro on Max. Because you've eaten too many cakes lately. <laughs> you keep buying. <laughs> no. Look, seriously, that is that hole was never designed for a, a, a six foot, slightly overweight fellow. You could get your head in there, couldn't you? Heavy emphasis on the slightly overweight, but that, seriously, that is <laughs> <laughs> You could get your head in there. Well, then what's that going to do? You can see what's in there. Well, we, we believe, we know that it was used for chickens because you can see through the little window, but it's just the problem has been we've never been able to get in there. Well, you can try and undo the door the other side. Yeah, but I've got to be in there to get to the yeah, door. Yeah, that's right. So if you crawl, if you crawl in there. I love your optimism, Susie, but sometimes, bless you. Look, we've got to find another way in because that is, that is just not going to happen. End of. Conversation ends here. Well, what are you going to do then? Uh, well, I don't know. I'll, <laughs> I'll come up with a plan, but me going in there is not going to happen. End of. Conversation's ended. Just have a try. No, there's no way. That is a chicken sized hole. I am not a chicken sized person. <laughs> it's not going to happen. End. Whose stupid idea was this? Well, you, I didn't force you. I'm stuck now. Well, you can open, if you get in there, you can open the door now. Here comes Max. Max is coming in as well. Come on, Max. <laughs> He's disappeared. I'm going to go around the other side and look. Right. <laughs> Hello. Yes, all right. I'm in. You're right. Um, yeah, but well, there's a couple of big stones behind the door. I think something's fallen over. Um, there's a bit of wood here, so I think I can get the door open. So bear with me. Who's in there, Baxter? Yeah. Can I come in and have a look? Ooh. Is it safe? Wow. Well, it's uh, looks, it's obviously a few holes in the roof, but looks wet, damp in here. Yeah, well, there's a big hole up there. Mm. So this is a great idea then. Okay, I've gone through the hole. So that's so, where all the chickens used to roost them. Even got the ladder still. Yeah. And presumably they would have roosted up here. Yeah. And then you've got 
nest boxes. So they would have presumably you go around the other side oh. to collect the eggs. What's in the other side then? Um, you could get in the other side. Can you? Yeah. Um, I mean, what's what's this? Eight eight feet by eight. Probably. Do you think yeah. so? What's eight feet? Uh, just over two meters, two and a bit meters. Shall I go in the next door? Um, I want to have a look as well. So this is the next door. It's a very dark, very dark in here. So you're gonna to have to bear with us. So this is where they would have collected the uh, the eggs. And uh, just counting. There's 16 18. holes, so there's um, their collection points. Mm. So they would have just been able to get the eggs from this side. Um, obviously a brick wall at the bottom, and then they've just made these wooden... I just uh, want to see what this is. Yeah. Oh, I see. Is that to clean it out? Presume so, I don't know. Mm. So, this is where we're planning to have the chickens, is it? Next door. Mm. Now we can open the door, get in. It gives us a bit of an insight. Yeah. Now, the roof, as you can see, um, there's one or two holes. So, as you can see, we have a bit of a problem with the roof. In fact, um, this whole roof needs replacing. You can see that hole there. And let me just have a look further down. Just see in the distance there on the roof. So we we knew when we bought it that the roof was in a poor state. Um, there's a lot of chicken wire on the ceiling in here. Let me just go back in. I don't know whether you can tell, but there is chicken wire up there. Yeah, there's some. Uh, but obviously if we wanted to house chickens in here, we would have to make the roof secure. Um, you can see this beam here in particular. That's looking pretty poor. That looks like it's gone through and I think it's the chicken wire that's holding it up. And of course, how you repair the roof is to a certain extent dependent on what you're planning for the building. If it's just animals, you don't really need to put a waterproof membrane and insulate it and all that. So we could just try and sort of patch each section up as we go um, we'll have to think about that but uh, it's the ideal place for chickens right now so yeah it looks like that's where they'll be heading but it's a perfect space for them uh, quite big we don't want lots and lots of chickens but uh, yeah it won't take much to clear this up Yeah, it won't, it won't take a lot of work clean, cleaning this up, certainly on the inside. Those um, nesting boxes, they look as though they've probably had it, to be quite honest, some of them. But I think we can soon recreate those. And it's just a question of the roof, really. I mean, do we just repair this part of the roof for now, just so we can get the chickens going? And then obviously make a hatch there where that hole is so no, no predators can get in. But uh, I would please we got in there, a bit of a struggle to get in there. And rather annoyingly, Susie was right about getting through there, but she'll, she'll let me forget that in a few weeks time. Right, okay, so that's the plans for chickens. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's been a very, very busy two or three days, hasn't it for us? Um, I'm absolutely shattered, really. We've gardening. Lots more, yeah, more well, clearing of the garden. Clearing. The van is loaded up for the dishettery again tomorrow morning, so uh, the work continues. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. But we wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, recently, if you remember, we went up into the attic uh, to have a look at that trunk. And in it, there was a lot of old paperwork. 
Now we haven't had a lot of time to look, but we've had a quick look through and we've picked out a couple of documents that we thought you might want to see. Um, the first one, which is the oldest one, where is it? I'll just show you, hopefully it'll be clear, but this corner here, it's um, 1669 and the date actually is clearer on the back of it and it's a contract actually it's a contract for the purchase of a of a farm and you'll see there 17th December 1669 so I mean that's just really old <laughs> and then we've got this other document it's, we don't know what yeah. it is yet this is um, 1777. 1777. And going and through the, the, the writing, yeah, amazing. it's amazing writing, really of its time, really old. But a lot of the documents that we've looked through so far uh, mention Emperor Napoleon. So we don't know what they're about, but clearly we need a historian. So I think that's probably the next thing that we'll have to do mm -hmm. uh, find a local history society or or something like that but we thought you'd like to see those because we had a lot of comments from people saying you know i'd love to see those documents and a lot of the documents well most of them have got a stamp on them yeah a crest or a stamp of mm. some sort so hmm interesting yeah but the paper is so old isn't it look at it yeah the paper feels old and the writing it's it's I would suggest it's very early French writing, you know, almost Latin in its look, you know. Mm. But I'm, you know, I'm no historian. But anyway, more on that another time. So thank you for watching and um, see you Sunday. Bye. Bye.